would you say you and mom you are calling Kenyans no we're not calling anyone yeah this it's real yeah we're not calling anyone and i don't know why people would say we're calling them in a layman's language mm. ni ni describe a condition yako ni nini mbaya kwa sasa hii venye kitu naweza sema ni mbaya na poteza nafs nafs zangu are very you see inabebwa mm. i'm weak mm. yani msizi hata ninyo msizi hata mm. kanyage mm. inatembea mm. i also want to clarify to you that i'm not using my daughter in anything for the first time i did not want my story to be heard i did not want people to know i am sick but my my daughter decided to do it mm. she kept it without even me knowing mm. my first picture if somebody is keen that was posted on social media i was being resuscitated in ya nani e mm. ni a beyond scope hospital mm-hmm. so this one showing mm. the referral of me yes to india to india yes. i think this is one that is very important this, this is visa processing yes for you for Which chief inspector it has our... been approved by your super so, with my uh, superintendent in charge yeah. pasquel eringo inasema With... the officer is required to travel to india to mm. seek medical attention i will fight for you shall i'm going to fight for you when in that operation i'm really going to fight for you my daughter only that i can tell you and for the kenyans who trolled you our uh, kenyans are asking you to blame me please take all blame back to me can you shall i with the dream all the blames from you and i've kept them on me don't worry my daughter our door is going to be open and you are going to be greater one day this will be a testimony Hi Sheila. Hello. How are you? I am doing okay. Really, really? Yeah, I guess. Okay. Yeah. So maybe for the purpose of some of the people who are watching you for the first time, could you please introduce yourself and tell us what you do? Um so my name is Sheila Sheldon mm. and I am 14 years old. I am an artist, a designer, a model, a singer, a public speaker and an upcoming actress. Mm-hmm. I have uh, won several awards. One as the Global Child Prodigy Award. Yes. Um 2020. Another one uh the young Nina Simone artistic honoree. Nina as, Simone. Yeah, do as a black artist. Nina Simone. Yeah. No, I, do you really know Nina Simone? I, That's I an do. icon. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Mm-hmm. As a black entrepreneur. Yes. And many other that there's so many I can't really mention all of them. Mhm. I am really honored and I'm proud to be a Kenyan yes. who has lifted up our flag. Mm. Yeah, and um I started painting at the age of 5. Um that was in school, back yes. when I was in school and the teacher noticed that especially I loved drawing all the time. Mm-hmm. Lunch time, um break time whenever i'm just free i'm just drawing yes. so the no- the teacher noticed that about mm-hmm. about me my class teacher mm-hmm. and she told mm-hmm. my mom when i was about to leave the school i was in light in lights academy yeah. in malindi mm-hmm. and so my mom had that and she didn't believe it because she was like you know these teachers they just want you to stay yes that's why they they'll tell you that you're talented mm-hmm. or something like that mm-hmm. but then once we moved to diani um i drew her and she was surprised she was yes. like wow i really never believed them but it's hard to believe you really know how to draw so she started supporting me and she did her best she looked for materials Mm-hmm. um and i was able to start the journey on mm-hmm. drawing and i've come so far yes yeah through drawing through drawing who are some of the prominent people you've drawn and who have you met along your journey so i have drawn many prominent people mm-hmm. i drew the president of kenya from a former president mm-hmm. uhuru kenyatta mm-hmm. and i got the opportunity to meet him um 
he offered to pay my school fees until university and my brothers until high school mm -hmm. but currently as we're speaking they stopped uh, paying um, last year they were only paying little and the school fees is uh, like s a lot where, where was your school a uh, light international here in Mombasa light international yeah it's mm -hmm. very expensive okay but I am I'm, I'm really honored to have a uh, been in that school and reached where I am and but currently I'm not longer in school I'm in year 9 and um I think I'm supposed to be having a cam a checkpoint mm -hmm. but I'm not going to be able to do it because okay. I have missed school. this whole year okay. yeah I will get there but walk me through this scholarship or sponsorship or meeting the president eh? who told you that it's okay, I'll cater for your fees and I'll cater for your brothers. Was there any written statement or how was the process like? And to your knowledge, why have they stopped taking care of that part? Um, so when I drew the president, my mom was very sick. Mm. She had been sick for, um, it was about three years because her sickness started in 2015. Okay. Yeah, in 2016, she got two operations. And then 2017, she got another operation. Okay. So, like, she had been in the house and she couldn't move. Eating was a problem. Going to the washroom was a problem. So, it was just, uh, my dad was there, but he wasn't always there. He was always at work. Mm -hmm. And so, it was just um, my mom and I sometimes in the house. Okay. So, I decided to draw, uh, draw the president. And I was drawing in the street, and uh, I caught the attention of this um, news station, I think mm -hmm. KTN, mm -hmm. something like that. Mm. And they did a story, and it went viral. And I was able to be called to the state house okay. to meet the president. Mm -hmm. So when I went, uh, I went with my mom and my dad. My brother had to stay over. Mm -hmm. So we went there. Um, I met the president, he said himself that, uh, Sheila, I really love what you do. You, you, you uh, do things peop people older than you can't even do. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to sponsor you until university, until you say, I don't want I'm school anymore. School. Yeah, mm -hmm. school anymore. And you're, you have a little brother, I'm going to also cater for his, mm -hmm. um, his education too. Yes. So and maybe... Uh, point of clarification because when you drew mom was sick right mm -hmm. how is it that it's so easy for mom to navigate and even get to state house in her condition so what happened was mm -hmm. um so we got uh, on a flight mm -hmm. we went by flight yes. though it it had been very it was hard for mom because she had just from she was just had they, they, were, they had done an operation on her and uh, it was three operations already. Okay. So it was really hard, but she persevered, persevered and she was able to, to come through. I don't know how, but sometimes you say, well, sometimes when you're in need, you can go through the... You can do anything. You can do anything. And, okay. and I guess that's mm -hmm. what one thing you can say. Yeah. My mom persevered with the pain. Mm. She, we reached there. Uh, we had just we stayed for a couple of nights in a hotel they had and booked paid. yeah they had booked for us so then we were able to meet the to president meet him. yeah mm -hmm. and so we were taken uh, with the car to where he was and yeah I, I got to meet him I presented and I think people saw it yes. on uh, the citizen news. and everything it yes. was it was an amazing feeling and I was really happy to be there. Okay. And my mom got the help she needed. Mm -hmm. She, the president, uh, paid for her other three operations, mm -hmm. and yeah, that's how it just all up happened. Okay, yeah. I still come back to when they stopped, mm -hmm. but walk me through mom's condition. What do you understand by your mom's condition? What is she going through, and where have these operations been carried out? So in 2016, mm -hmm. she she had uh, several tumors, yes. uh, ovarian tumors. Mm -hmm. So they did a op normal operation on her and they removed those tumors. Mm -hmm. So then again, later on, they found out there were more tumors 
and they removed they had to remove the ovary mm. and that was the right ovary mm -hmm. she's now remaining with the left ovary mm -hmm. and then in that was in diani diani was it diani hospital i'm not mm. sure the mm -hmm. correct mm -hmm. I hospital. think mom will okay. knows. Mm -hmm. And then um, the other uh, operation, mm -hmm. I know where it was because I remember. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I was there with mom. I saw her through the process. Yeah. Uh, she, they removed her uterus because it was over bleeding. Mm -hmm. And that hospital messed up with her, with her intestines. And they had forgotten to close the intestines i'm not sure exactly I'm what happened mom will tell you. yeah mom will tell you but yeah. yeah something like that so we we had been struggling with mom the whole 2017 2018 because we met the president like later on yeah. 2018 yeah. so it has just been a whole process i had been in the house for my dad mm -hmm. um he he was he was not there most of the time mm -hmm. but he was he was there he was supportive was there with sometimes but he had to work we wouldn't get food from anywhere mm. if he didn't work, work yeah. so he had to work we had a house help sometimes who's there mm. to help us so yeah it was it has just been like that mm. yeah okay. so the house help would help with most of the thing because mm. i was still very young mm. but i could see her in most of the pain she would she went almost everywhere we we, we tried we yeah we went to like churches, we prayed and stuff, but mm. it didn't help with okay. anything, yeah. Anyway, the rest of the questions, I think uh, they are better suited if I ask mama. Let's go back to this scholarship that you got, your art. When did it stop and how have you followed up and what feedback are you getting? Um. So um, the scholarship thing from the president, I mom was informed that this year they won't be paying because um with the elections and stuff mm. um they don't have an office yet that's what they said they said they'll get back to us that um the the secretary has forwarded it to the president the current president no, no? the former, former. president mm -hmm. yeah and they are working on it so yes. i'm hoping that they will work it out and mm -hmm. I'll be able to go back to school. Mm. When was the last time you stepped into a classroom? It was last year. When exactly? Um, near, was it in year eight? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm. I don't... Can you remember the months? Um, so we usually close on, um, was it Ju Ju July or mm -hmm. June? Somewhere mm. around there yeah. for the long holidays mm. and then mm. you go to the next year. So that's the last time. time. Yeah. Because of fees, did they tell you you can't come back or did you talk to the school administration to let you continue studying as you uh, wait for the solutions? The, the fees had accumulated. accumulated, so they couldn't allow me to continue mm -hmm. studying. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now you study at home. Yeah, I do homeschooling. Who who gives you, walks you through the lessons? Uh, no, I usually use our... A website where I, I just study online there. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. by yourself? Okay. All right. All right. So you've mentioned you've accompanied mom to churches and things like that, right? So which churches have you guys gone to and what was the feedback? I don't remember all of them, but mm -hmm. I just remember one that we went to recently. Mm -hmm. It's like a the ministry. Mm -hmm. I had uh, six major operations. I'm surviving with the plastic intestines. And I also lost my uterus at the age of 24. We got prayed for. Mm -hmm. And though um, we got prophesied and stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's the main thing. And he, uh, the, the prophet really helped us. So I can say uh, he gave us... 20 million Ugandan money mm -hmm. like I went and I uh, donated one of my uh, paintings uh, to the church yeah yeah how much is 20 million Ugandan it's almost like 600 thousand uh, yeah yes mm -hmm. Kenyan shillings yeah yeah that was for school or for just no surviving? that was 
for just surviving. Okay. Yeah. I've seen a lot of your art has accumulated in the balcony. Do you try to market it? This I do. for Obama in yeah. particular. I have I have posted it though I'm not gonna any response. Mm. Like most of you see right now, like my art just died. Yeah, nobody is buying. I'm not selling anything, so there's no point of continue painting mm. more. So I've just stopped painting. Okay. Yeah. So mm. I'm just waiting for people to um, buy. Then I yeah. I paint because you can't paint with without someone buying because yes. it's just going to end up yeah. there up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, let me ask. There's a time you left the country. Where did you go? Uh, that time. Okay. So there are many times I left. Mm -hmm. So, in the same 2018, I, I was invited by Tese Foundation yes. to uh, go raise funds for girls in Zimbabwe mm -hmm. to go to school. And that was in America. The yes. foundation was in America. Mm -hmm. So, it was a fun drive. Mm -hmm. So, I went over. I donated one of my paintings. I even sold most of my paintings. Mm -hmm. I came, we came back and that's where we bought all these things in the house. This is you? Yeah, these are all things we bought from, yeah. Really? How long were you away? We, just a few, like let's say two months, two but months? we sold so much. You sold a lot of paintings. Yeah, and uh, after that, a lot of people are, mm. um, they were uh, buying. Yes. Yeah, but then um, 2018, we kept on, I mean 2019, because we went almost like uh, October, December, around there. Mm. Yeah, so we came back. Um, we're still getting people buying. Mm. Uh, Twenty, I think 2019, I didn't go anywhere. Mm. I'm not aware of any place. Mm. Uh, oh, yeah, 2019, by the end of 2019, I went to South Africa. Yeah, yeah I went there to, uh, I went there to encourage people, uh, some people my mm. age, to just encourage them. Also did a fashion show there. Mm -hmm. um, I came back 2020. I went to India to receive an award, mm -hmm. the Global Child Prodigy. Yes. Um, then I came back, then I got another award, um, Most Promising Talent in Kenya. Okay. In 2018, I received the uh, youngest lioness mm -hmm. for being the youngest person to yes. have donated okay. in that yeah. foundation. I want to touch, because right now you are doing a fundraising for your mom. I want to touch on the uh, fund, the, the money part of what you've made with this art and the pieces that you've sold. This house we are in, is it rented or is it's it It's rented. Not? It's rented. The things inside, you've bought them through your art? Yeah, not only that, but also mom's money. Mom's money? Yeah. What's mom's profession? Oh, uh, She is a police... Officer, mm -hmm. chief inspector, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. okay, prisons, yeah, still, still serving, yeah, still serving. Okay, all right. Now, do you think you've had time to be a child? Um, I personally think so because mm -hmm. I, I have a lot of, I have friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, I still get time to be with my friends and stuff. So. Mm -hmm. All right, let's address the elephant in the room, right? You are fundraising for mom. Yeah, You've seen true. what has been said online. Yeah, it's really hurtful. It's hurtful. So allow me to, for the purpose of clarification, clarify it pole pole pole. Would you say you and mom, you are calling Kenyans? No, we're not calling anyone. Yeah, this, it's real. Yeah, we're not calling anyone, and I don't know why people would say we're calling them. Mm. Where, where do you think it started, the rumor? Um, it just started from, um, I don't know the name of the guy, but... Mm. Um, so, first of all, there's this person who commented on my... I think, I don't know if it was on my page or mom's page, uh, saying that they wanted to help. So I reached out to them, and I... I um, requested yeah. like for them to follow me like friend request and um they are saying don't follow me back don't follow i mean don't friend request me but they ended up just allowing 
So I sent every de the details, like the Gmail, phone and everything. Then they deleted their post, mm -hmm. their own post. Yeah. So like then people are saying that I deleted the post and who, I didn't. Who manages your social media accounts? So currently I'm the one who's doing me, mm -hmm. my uncle and my dad. Mm -hmm um because mom can't do it she, she's usually the one who's doing it mm -hmm. yeah okay so right now you are the one managing yeah m me and my, my dad mm -hmm. yeah when, when people ask for medical records and this i'll also ask mom do you have everything yes we have everything according to you mom is supposed to go to india yeah we're even planning for her to go next week okay to yeah. india how much have you guys raised collectively? So far, we've raised about uh, uh, 2.2 or 3, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, around there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not always certain of, of the number because it keeps on adding. Okay. Yeah. And also ask mom how much is expected. But, Sheila, there are so many. I saw um, you tagging a lot of celebrities. I've seen you tagging a lot of media personalities. Mm -hmm. I saw a post of someone saying, yes, they know you, but they wouldn't contribute towards your mom's uh, medical, you know, aid, because there are some details that are sketchy. When you see these people not coming to your mom's aid, how does that make you feel? And do you think they have a right not to assist you guys? I personally believe that everyone has a right to help and not help. Yes. So if someone doesn't want to help, it's fine. Mm -hmm. We are not forcing anyone to help. Mm -hmm. But to those people who are helping, the people shouldn't say anything wrong to them because they're the ones who are choosing to help mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. And yet people are there talking bad about those people who are helping us. And those people are now starting to think, oh, these people are conning. Mm -hmm. Yet I'm not, I'm not conning anyone. So. If someone doesn't believe something, you choose to 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 follow someone. You choose not to follow someone. Yes. That's true. Yeah. So if you personally don't believe the story, it's fine. Mm. But to those people who believe and want to help, they, they can help. Think. Yeah, okay. we're not forcing every single person mm. to help mm. my mom. Mm. Just those people who, in the in the bunch of people I'm tagging, there's someone who has seen it and has helped. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Have you had time to process what mom is going through and what are you scared of? I'm personally scared of losing her, her dying, because I, I don't know what I can do without her. <laughs> she has been so much help in my life and she's just always been there for me. Mm. Even when she's experiencing a lot of pain, she's just there with me. So I wouldn't want to lose her. That's one thing. Mm. Yeah. I'm about to go sit with her upstairs. <laughs> when she watches this, what do you want her to know? I just want to know her to know that I love her, that I'm always there for her, and that if she thinks that things are really hard for her, just she can always just come and talk to me. Mm. Yeah, she shouldn't keep it to herself because sometimes she says, you guys don't know how much pain I mean, I am in. You guys think I'm just here mad, but you don't know what I'm experiencing. So I'm just telling her that we all are suffering in our own different ways. Mm -hmm. Me, yours is different from yes. from mine, but we're all suffering. Mm -hmm. So if, if, if her pain is too much, she can always just come and talk to me. Mm -hmm. You feel like she, you're the closest thing she has? Do you feel like that? Yeah, because most of the time she's telling me, Sheila, if, if, you know, I'm just here surviving because of you. I'm here trying my best because of you and Breast and my brother. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I personally believe I'm the only thing mm -hmm. that she has. Okay. All right. You are at. Do not give up on it. I think it's beautiful. Thank I think you. the pieces are extraordinary thank you appreciate I think it. one day obama will see this and you might ship it what inspired this so um 
their dog died mm. more mm. and so i just wanted to let them know that the dog will always watch over them because i have a dog called flexi yes. and i know how it feel if if he would die it would really just break my heart mm. so i know how it feels mm. but i just want them to know that their dog is always just there watching over oh, them that's right Beside up there yeah oh, beautiful beautiful work for people who would want to support your work how how can they get in touch with you um so you can you can go through my website mm-hmm. uh, www.shilashaldonart.com yes. okay yeah that's uh. where all my art is everything mm. about me is there mm-hmm. yeah so you can always just go through that okay as i wind up what do you want to tell yourself mm, i want to tell myself that everything is okay just stop worrying and just be strong everything is going to this thing is just going to go yes and one day i'll just be very happy and yeah you will you are and you'll be happy okay yeah thank you thank you anything you would want to add before i go sit with mom um not really mm. yeah you just uh, i want to tell let people know that just because i meet many people and i meet many prominent people just doesn't mean i i receive money from every single one of them there are a lot of people who promise me a lot of things for example the president of uganda and i'm pretty sure he might think i have already received it mm. a house he promised um to to b- buy for us a house the president of uganda yeah and i think that was Museveni. in in seven he promised to buy your house yeah and we have been we have been on it for like a long time is it 20 in 2019 mm mm-hmm. I'm not sure. You I, met him? Yeah, I met him. Mm-hmm. And um I was invited to his home place and yes. I went there mm. and I got the opportunity to sit with him. We mm-hmm. talked. Mm-hmm. I met his grandchildren and I had I had mu- so much fun. So he promised to buy a house, but I've been waiting and I I know he's he might be thinking right now that I've received it. Mm. I just wanted to let him know that I haven't yet mm. and I'm still waiting mm. for him to keep his yes. promise. Do you think people think you beg too much? I I don't know. If if that's what people think, I don't know. Do you beg? I don't beg anyone. Mm-hmm. Just people offer mm. to to help me. Yes. Yeah, because of my art and they say, "Well, they maybe i bring for you something and you're like you know i don't have i don't have money or i don't mm. have this but i can give you this instead yes yeah for what you have done okay that's what yeah. usually happens uh uh-huh. before i go let me just ask how much would that painting cost me um so i don't usually know the prices mm. but this one can usually cost about um 100,000 mm-hmm. 60 70 they range yeah. from there Yeah, how much would you sell this one? I wouldn't sell it, but if I was to sell it, I would sell it for about 3, 3 million. million. It's worth it. Yeah, because it took time. It took how 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 much time? It's cuz um okay, I can say like about 2 months. 2 months. Yeah. You worked on it every single day. Yeah, improving and improving and improving. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think 3M is worth it. I think it's even less, okay? All right, so let me go talk to mom so that we can get to listen to her story mm-hmm. as she clarifies uh, a couple right. of things for us, okay? Okay. All right. Hi, Mama Sheila. Hello. How are you? I'm doing great. I yeah. thank God. Nimefika. Mm-hmm. Nashukuru sana kwa kukuona. Yes. I was not even Um, like I was not sure I was not sure whether you will show up I keep not. my word yeah I keep did. my word Cindy mm-hmm. so maybe for the purpose of the people who do not know you if mm-hmm. come on as start by introducing yourself huh? okay so my name is Viviana Diambotiano mm-hmm. I'm a chief inspector I'm working with the prison department here in Shimolatewa Boston yeah. I am 30 years old and I live in Shanzu mm-hmm. 
and this is where I live. Okay. Yes. You are 30. I'm 30 years Sheila old. Sheila is 14. Yes, I gave birth to Sheila when I was uh, uh, 16 years old, yeah. back at home. Okay. Yeah. You are a teen mom. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. How are you really feeling? Uh, with my body. Everything. Yeah, the way I'm feeling as we are, we are talking, I'm not good, You, as you can see. Yes. I've been sickling for some time. Mm -hmm. It's something which has gone for years. I've been dying in silence, not telling people. I do not want people to know what really is happening. Mm. But it forces me now to come out because the condition is not what we thought it could be. Mm -hmm. So according to the health wise, I'm not okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, I need quick attention okay. to get medical treatment. Okay. We yeah. will get to your medical uh, story yes. because it's a lot. Yeah. And I love that we have everything here yes. that will be able to guide us. But yes. maybe before that, because yes. you did not just wake up, yes. ukajipata weni mkonjwa, yes. tuambie kitu kukuhusu, maybe mm. walk us a bit back about you. Yeah, yes, so I finished my form for 2012. Mm -hmm. When I finished 2012, I traveled to Mombasa. Mm -hmm. Mombasa, I came to join to Technical University of Mombasa. By then, it was called uh, Mombasa Poly. Mm -hmm. The charter was given when I was there. Yes. So it was called Technical University of Mombasa. Mm -hmm. So there is when I met a man. Because I had Sheila already, and I was... Sheila had given to somebody, my sister, mm -hmm. to take care of her. Mm -hmm. She was, uh, she's my blood sister, but things were not going the way mm. it was expected. Mm -hmm. So I had to look for somebody. You just understand the gas and peer pressure when you are in a college. Mm. So, and you just come from home, the rural area to the town. Mm. So when I was in town here, I got a man. Uh, he was a plumber. I don't know if I can mention his name. We can leave his yeah, name out we, yes. if it's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we we got in love and we, we got to stay together. I can say it was come to stay mm -hmm. together mm -hmm. because we were not married. He never took any yes. cow in our tribe. If you marry a lady, you have to take a cow or, you know, you go there and show up to the family, <coughs> which he never did. Mm. So we stayed with him 2012, 2013. Uh, 2014, I got pregnant mm. when I had finished my college. I was doing a certificate in community health and HIV management. So on 2013, I got, uh, 2014, I got pregnant mm. with my last born, yeah. Yeah, my son. Yes. So when I got pregnant, it was that pregnancy that always I was in the hospital. So the doctors actually told us, to well, about the baby. Mm. They were saying we remove the baby because my uterus was weak. You know, once, let me take you back a little bit. Yes. Once I got pregnant with Sheila, I wanted to abort. I tried abortion several times. And remember, this was abortion we were doing with my mother. My mother was assisting me. She's down here. That, that's your mom? That's my mother. Down here? Yes. Oh. She's taking care of me. Oh. Yes. Mm. So she was trying to help me to abort. I was young. And you, you know the perspective yes. that people have yes. back there at home mm -hmm. when you are pregnant. Mm -hmm. So my mother also keeps on sending mm -hmm. me away with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, thank you so it's much. It's okay. It's open for me. Mm -hmm. My mouth is open. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So my, my mother kept on sending me away with the kid and everything. So I had to take my daughter to, to my sister. Yes. But I had used so many medis, medicine. I used so many medication to try to abort. Oh. So I, I, I can't blame anybody, but I think those are the things that made my stomach now mm. started having issues. Mm. Because immediately after getting this boy, pregnancy of the boy, mm. after being pregnant with that boy, the stomach could not hold the baby. But I did, didn't want to remove the baby because the doctors told me, once you remove the baby, mm. you might not get another baby. Mm -hmm. So I was on and off, on and off of the hospital until I, go, I, I gave birth mm. to him. So after giving birth to my son, 
That was 2014. 2015, everything was not going well in that 2015, even when I was pregnant. My husband used to, you know, go out a lot with other ladies. Mm. And uh, being that I was a housewife, yes. it was not something which was good for me. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to, to also have my job, yes. my own job. Yeah. As a woman, actually, it's good you have something mm, for you. Mm, mm. So I went to 2015, I went home. When I heard that there is a recruitment for prisons. So when I went home, mm. that was on, uh, it was a weekend. Then the recruitment was being done on a Wednesday. Then uh, I got into the field where they were doing exercises and everything. For good luck, I was the only lady who was taken well, on that day. Congratulations. Yes. So my brother, my twin brother, I have my twin brother here. Yes. Yeah, my twin brother, after I got out 2015, 2016, I got him in. So he's also a prison officer. Oh. Yeah. So 2015, when I was in the college, uh, Ruiru, I was always sick. I was, we call it sick bay. Yes. So we were people who were sick bay. They call in the morning, sick bay, sit this side. We could go and sit that mm -hmm. side mm -hmm. because I was among the sick, the sick yes. bay. Yes. Things went. Then uh, we got out of the, we passed our, mm. uh, out. Yes. During our pass out, I was, um, I was mm. taken to Malindi yes. women prisons. Mm. In Malindi Women Prisons, I stayed for only three months. I started becoming sick, my stomach, I was in pain mm. all, all through. Mm. So I told them to give me a transfer to come to Mombasa. So I was given a transfer and I came to Mombasa remand. Mm. We call it Jela Baridi. Jela Baridi. Yes. So when I, I came to... I Jela Moto. Sini Mombasa <laughs> inafaikuwe Jela Moto. They call it Jela Baridi. Yes. It's pretty offenders. Oh. People who have done some... Is it vitu ndoko ndoko? Okay. Yeah. So when I was there, uh, I was still staying in Diani mm. because my man was in Diani mm. and Sheila and the brother Bresnan was also in Diani. Mm -hmm. So I had a family in Diani, but I was working in Jalabaridi. So I kept on going and coming back. There was a time I was sick, so I told the, my boss that today I will not appear, I'm not feeling well. Mm. So that day there was a sister who came to visit me in my house. She's my stepsister. Yeah. I will not mention her name. Mm. I found a message. It was not me who found. Sheila was five years by then, mm. but it was Sheila who found a message, mm. found him texting my his dad. And Sheila told me, ah, mom, uh, Auntie Fulani, dad sent him credit. Then I called her just normal and I mm. said, hey, why are you asking my husband credit yet we are here? That day night, we fought with my husband. He kicked me, my stomach. And the, that after kicking me, I fell down. He ran away, he thought um, uh, he killed me. Mm. So he How ran. old was Sheila's brother then? Sheila's brother was, I don't know, some, around some uh, one year there. Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. because when I was going to training, she, she, he was one year. Mm -hmm. he, he had turned one year. Okay. Okay. So he was one year and some. Mm going months. around yeah with some months because in training we only take nine months oh, okay yeah so when i asked i was kicked then uh, i was i he ran away but i went and take uh, i went uh, to the police station i reported then i later w went to the hospital mm. that's the first operation i did in diani the details are here mm. they found that i had a, a kind of overflow of blood the, and they said it was ovarian cyst which one busted. So I said, okay, then they removed it. We went there and mm. they, they had to remove the, mm. the, oh, the ovarian the cyst. Mm. Yeah. So 20... Was he said, arrested? No, he was not arrested. We sold and he came back. Oh. Before I was in the hospital, the lady also talked that, uh, and Sheila had her. She said, she was telling Sheila, can you call me your, you, can you give me respect because soon I'm going to be your mother. So such things, Sheila went and told my neighbor because she also said, I will go in that hospital, the hospital, 
and pluck those tubes they have kept in her stomach and um, kill her. Mm. So when Sheila heard that Sheila went, ran to this I lady. I can be a neighbor. And yes, the neighbor, uh, uh, sh uh, my, my, my neighbor by then, I can't remember her name, but uh, I know she will watch this mm. and see. Mm. So my neighbor came and told me, hey, Mama, he came to the hospital and she told me, Mama Sheila, let Fulani not come and see you. This and this is what she's planning mm. to do. Mm -hmm. Then um, she came and I told them not to allow her in mm. and she went and mm -hmm. I told her to go mm. and she went while I was still in the hospital. hospital. So when I left the hospital, I just went back home. Mm. So when I went home, things were okay. We reconciled, my husband came back home. We were just a happy family. So on 2016, things strike again. I was at work. I remember I was holding a, a G3 gun. Yeah. I was on guard that day, daytime. I was managing the gate. So when you are at the gate, there are some with the G3 mm -hmm. and some with the Seska, mm -hmm. the small gun. Mm -hmm. So I, I fell down. But when I fell down, the officers were there, some were there around. They came and picked me up. But now I couldn't walk straight. I was walking, like, I, I bending. Mm. So they rushed me to the prison we have hospital inside Jalabaridi. They took me there, but it couldn't work. Mm. I was later rushed to an hospital, which I don't want to mention the name. So that, this, this hospital, I'll tell you why. Mm. They, um, when I was rushed to that hospital, they removed for me the right ovary, which was having, they were saying it was having a problem, so it was removed. The same hospital, it took like um, some months, I had blood overflow in the uterus. I was 24 years old. The decision was tough mm -hmm. to remove or to leave, yes. but they had to remove my uterus. Uh -huh. So I lost my uterus when I was 24 years old. They removed it. In the process of removing the uterus, mm -hmm. this is the reason why I don't want to mention the name of the hospital. They interfered with my intestines. So they kept on, they brought a, a, a sign, a, a board l next to my bed. It was written, nail by mouth. So I thought, the nurses told me, you know, when you are from operation, you can't eat. That's why they are saying nail by mouth. Nail by mouth. Then I asked, but it's going now, it's three weeks, one month, the second month, the third month, my mama, who is down near my mother, mm. because she was there. Yeah. She refused and said we should go out of the, that hospital. Mm -hmm. So I went out, they had no money. Yeah. Though. I went out to ail at home. So from 2016, I was not at work. So I was told from with my boss to go home mm. and ail at home. So 2015, I went home. 2016? 2016. Mm -hmm. 2017, I also had a surgery. I also had uh, several adhesions. After doing operations, there are those adhesions, the things that uh, they said when your body is healing, it heals while attached mm. to each other. Mm. So they released for me the adhesions, but they did not rectify the, the intestines. So in 2018, Sheila was the breadwinner of my family. Sheila was drawing and we could eat because she was drawing along the, the road, mm. the roadside. Mm. So one day Sheila, uh, Sheila drew a kutana na awa watu wa media. Mm. That was um, uh, KTN. KTN, that was Tobias Chanji, I will never forget wow. that. Yes, and there was this KTN guy, mm. was it Kinuthia? I yes. don't, can you say thanks to Tobias? I want to say thanks Please to Tobias. Please feel free, you can Yeah, Tobias, it. thank you so much for doing the story of Sheila because you made me go to State House okay. and you made me to get the life again. Okay. So when we went to the, when the story went viral, mm. Within two weeks, we were called to State House. Yes, before we go to State House, yes. let's talk about Sheila. Yes. Now, this is a child mm. who has become the breadwinner, breadwinner right? Yes. Let 
clarify a few things. Yes. You are still working. Yes. Are you not getting the salary? I'm getting the salary, but remember I took loan already. Mm. And I I took loan immediately I came from the immediately I came from the prison mm -hmm. training. Mm -hmm. I took loan immediately. Mm -hmm. I took uh, nine hundred thousand. Oh. The nine hundred thousand, four hundred thousand, I bought a vehicle, filled. Mm. This field I gave it to my husband because I did not even know how to drive. So I gave this guy a car. Then on uh, the the remaining amount. I opened M-Pesa and boutique. Mm. People in Okunda knows me at, as a working, a hard working woman mm. because I was really a hard working woman. Mm. I could do everything. Mm -hmm. Remember when I was uh, pregnant with my son, mm. my husband left me for another lady. So I was selling Omena, which was coming from home, walking with Omena on my mm. head, selling mm. around. I was also selling uh, Maka, the charcoal. Mm. And the charcoal I could bring a mm. lot. Mm. People from Okunda who will watch this they video, know that. they will tell you that mm -hmm. this is a very strong woman. Okay. Yeah, so I went all through that. Mm. Then uh, when we now met the president, mm. when uh, the media came to the house and asked, why is this girl drawing and uh, you're not going to school? I told them I don't have money okay. and uh, she has to feed so us. So that time Sheila had stopped going to school? She was not going to school. Mm. Yes, she okay. wasn't going to school. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, so what happened by oh. this time, I had a, when Sheila was drawing along the road, we had a Mzungu. Mm. This Mzungu decided to take Sheila. But unfortunately, when she, when he, she went back, she passed away mm. after paying school fee in Dian International School. Mm -hmm. She paid for two terms. Yes, the Mzungu. Then, the Mzungu. Okay. Then she passed away. Few things. Yes. Because I spoke to Sheila. Yes. When you were going to State House, yes. how was your condition? Yes. So when we had the reason, when we got the chance of going to the State House, mm. I told God, this is my chance of getting healed again. I said, because they did not want, Mr. Wanjoy did not want me to go. He was the state house controller. Mm. He did not want me to go. Why? Because I was sick. Oh, okay. But to me, I insisted that I told him that there is nobody who can come. I have to come. Mm. And Sheila also ins insisted. At times, he even said, we don't go if I must go. Mm. But I, I told him, I will come because I'm not that sick. But I was very sick. Mm. I was saying I'm not that sick. So I can get that chance. You knew this was a chance for, for your me, child and yes. for yourself. Yes. And I also took my ex-husband. We went with him uh, there. So when we, are, when we arrived there, we were taken to Heron Court Hotel. Yes. We stayed there for almost two days. Mm. The day we met the president, remember I'm in mean, so much pain. We are there and the Nairobi is very cold. Mm. So the day we, are going to, we were going to meet the president, we were taken at around uh, 2, yes. 2 p.m. When president saw me walking, he said, wow. He called his doctor. He's called Dr. Madenge. Mm. He told Dr. Madenge to take me very fast. They took an ambulance and took me to Nairobi Hospital mm -hmm. immediately. Okay. So there I left Sheila and the dad. I did not know anything which was now going, but mm. they were still kept in the state house. Mm. They were still sleeping in Heron Court. Yes. And those people, the state house was mm. paying. Mm. So here, I was treated. They operated me. They, they removed my, uh, they did for me what we call appendectomy. Mm. Nairobi they, Hospital. Nairobi Hospital. Mm -hmm. they, the papers are here. are here. They removed the appendectomy. They also released the adhesions mm. because I also had several adhesions. Remember, this is a seventh operation yes. I'm doing. The, Who the, is paying now? The president? The president is paying. Okay. Our, our insurance. Yes, your as medical police, cover. Your mm -hmm. medical cover. NHIF could not pay Nairobi Hospital by that time. Mm. I don't know if now, but I know mm. it cannot pay Nairobi Hospital. Mm -hmm. So when I did the appendectomy, they also did the release of the patients. Then after that, they had to cut because my intestines were rotting. Mm. They had to cut <coughs> them and fix with the mm. plastic intestines. Mm. So I'm surviving with partly plastic, partly intestines. Yes. It's hard for people to understand. In fact, some people are questioning, 
How is it possible? It's possible because I am surviving with partly they were conjoined. They, they, they call it, we call it mm. the zilishikalishwa. Uh, yes. Yeah, ilikatwa na zikashikalishwa. Yeah, so they told me, actually, we've done a lot for you. I have a tube, it's only that you can't see it. I will see it later. Yeah, I have mm. this side, this side, and I have one mm -hmm. here, mm. that, the, which I survived with. Mm. So from that time, life hasn't been easy. Yes. I've been uh, very sick. Mm. When I came out from the hospital, there was a, now the, we call it, um, my husband was now working a lot with other women. women. My ex-husband, mm. let me not call him my ex-husband. Mm. The lady she has might think I still love him. Mm. I'm married. <laughs> Yeah. So you are married, I'm married and happy. And I'm happy where yeah. I am. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so my ex-husband was going a lot with the with other, other ladies. ladies. And I remember I was almost in the hospital, almost it, pain, pain in the in hospital. In and out, in and out. Yes. yes. So there was a day my brother, my twin brother came. That was what pained me so much. When my twin brother came, I was in the hospital and I was sitting I was lying down on bed. Then he is normally, he used to check people's uh, status. Then when he checked status, he told me, he, he's like, wow. Then I asked him, what is the problem? Then he told me, oh my God, I've seen your husband, I won't mention the name, mm. with the lady I'm dating. Boy, I was like, oh my God, it was so painful for me. I felt so pain, I felt pain, mm. I felt so much pain. My pressure was high. Then I asked Alan, my twin brother, mm. have you ever gone with this lady? He told me, yes, we, have, we had had... Uh, we were intimate. We, yeah, we were had intimate. Mm. And uh, this is my, my girl, I'm surprised. The same time, my husband, my ex-husband came to the hospital. Then I borrowed him his phone. Then when I borrowed the phone, I, I knew what I wanted because Alan had gone and promised me never to say anything. Mm. So I took the phone and checked. When I was, he was seated down on a coach, you know how hospital mm. beds yes. are? Yes. On a, one coach, it was just mm. a plastic mm. and I was here in the bed. Mm. When I checked, I saw the lady. I don't know if I can call her name. Yes. The, the, her name is Pauline mm. Ouma. Mm. I saw Pauline Ouma writing, what are you doing with that walking coffin? I felt so bad. And indeed, by that time, I was a walking coffin. Take your time. I had nothing to do, but I asked him, why, why, is, he calling, why is she calling me a walking coffin? Then... He told me, we go to that lady. Actually, we moved and went to that lady and we talked with that lady and her two sisters. Her two sisters asked her, why are you ruining other, somebody's house? He said, even me, somebody ruined my house. And what is paining me more? He went ahead and married the same lady who called me a walking coffin. <laughs> I don't have anything to say bad to them, but what I normally say, I've forgiven, I'm forgiven him, mm. I've forgiven her. I don't want to carry the heavy luggage on my back because what I'm carrying is enough. Mm. So I want to release them also yes. from me. Yes. So they just be them. Release. I have released Release. Pauline Auma whenever you are. Take Charles as your husband and feel free to have him because I am already married. The only pain I felt is when you called me a walking coffin, but I'm still alive up to date. It's God who knows the day yes. that somebody will leave this yes. world. Yes. I have released all the burden, all the luggage that I had for you yes. in my on my back. Yeah. I want to walk free. Hmm. I want to walk light. Release. You have released Release. it. Yes. Release. So when that happened, I've been here hmm. in the house. I've not been going to work. Hmm. For how long? From 2016. Hmm. When I was, I came from Nairobi, the president gave me the rank of chief inspector. Oh. 
Mm. Yeah, so and I, now I got another chance to take a loan. Mm. Remember when I was going to the college, 2015, let me take you back. I had taken a loan, I left the, no, when I, I came back mm. now, I was there. Mm. All my, the, the, I opened a hardware mm -hmm. and the hardware was with his brother yes. who was managing. The brother took loans. The brother took loans for cement and he was not paying because I had the Mpesa and uh, the boutique and the boutique mm -hmm. and uh, another hardware. and uh, hardware. So they could sell. I was not getting money because I was in Malindi. Mm -hmm. At times I was staying in Kingorani. Mm -hmm. You know, job you yes. you can't move to Kunda every day. Mm -hmm. So the brother is his name is Pius. Mm. He took uh, the he ordered from Badara where he ordered the cement. After ordering cement, they were I don't know two hundred bucks, one hundred and twenty three. Mm. They never paid this amount until these people saw me the other day when I did my wedding and they took me to court. Mm. As we are talking, I'm paying this money. How much? The, um, uh, it was 123, but it was now added. Mm. So they, the court uh, sympathized with me and said, since I was not the one, but they had where I had my name, I had to pay. Mm. So I am paying them uh, around, uh, it was 236. Yes. Yeah. So I've been paying slowly, slowly. I'm in bed, I don't do anything. For you, for me to leave that bed, you, you have to carry me. Mm. For me to go to the washroom, they have to carry me. Mm. If you leave me here and there is nobody, that's why my mother is here in mm. our tribe. My mother is not supposed to be in your bedroom. But nowadays, my mother times even sleep down here when my husband is at work. Mm. Can I ask a question? Yes. Your husband, yeah. he works in the army, isn't he? Yes. He has a medical cover. He has a medical. Let me get you back first. There's something I'm forgetting. Okay. Lynn, when my husband ex left ex. me, I woke up in the morning. We were in a certain house, not this one. Mm. I looked at it. I went to the washroom to mm. ease myself. Mm. There is where when we shower, we hang our inner wares. Mm. So when I checked, there is no inner wear. So I asked him what happened. I, I, I called him because mm. he had gone. Mm -hmm. I asked him, hello, mambo power. Hey, now, niaje leo sijaona, mm. in a way, you mm. did not take shower. Mm. Then he told me, uh, no, why? Now, nanga kila siku ziko hapa. And I had noticed some clothes are not there. So I asked, kwani nini mbaya? Akaniambia, I'm sorry, I got married, I've left. Lynn, I was in so much pain. And there, the family, the, the, the family from their place, when I called the dad, he asked me, he, he told me, don't call me. He's telling me, don't call me. I have built the house in that boma. I built the house for where, for the mother, I extended their house. For the ex-husband, I did my house. I built the house. One day we went home, I was denied to sleep in that house. I don't know why they were saying at in our in our Custom. uh, customs, I don't know because I, I had changed the windows from the normal windows to the iron, mm. the photo, this mm -hmm. metal. metal. Mm -hmm. Now I can't sleep in that house with my son. I went back to our home because I'm coming from Migori, mm. but I left my son to sleep, to stay with them. <coughs> so my son stayed there for one week and he was just sleeping with the chicken. In the, in the kitchen where chicken are sleeping. Mm. That's where my son was sleeping. Remember, this guy, when I woke up and I found there is no pants there, I asked him. He told me he's married and he's gone. I felt so much pain. I was crying. I was depressed. I even called, uh, I, w I, I told the people from, I wrote in Facebook, I need someone to talk to. Because that's the time I could only talk to somebody. Mm. I was feeling I could kill myself. Yes, it was a, just a, like a remote in the house. It was not helping me much. But in our tribe, we believe of being married. Mm. And I live even that one. As a lady, we believe in being married. I, I don't say that uh, ladies with no husbands, or like single mothers or parents are bad, no. 
but in our tribe they, they give you a certain name mm. so that name is what i was trying to prevent i was mm -hmm. saying let me just have him mm. i begged him several times to come back but he never came back then I, i said it's okay i stayed for some time then i got i i got the person who loved Nathan. me Nathan. Yes. And so, we got married. Yes, I want to talk about Nathan a bit. Yes. You mentioned when the president made you a chief uh, inspector, inspector yes. you took a loan. Yes. So, did you take this loan again to help your ex-husband? I did that we, because that's what we opened the hardware. Remember before yes. I had just a boutique, M -Pesa and a boutique and a boutique. Now I opened a hardware. Mm. And the money to help him build his house? I was building the house, not the money to yes. help him. I was. No. Where did the money come from? It's the loan that I took. How much did you take? I, when I took another loan, mm. I took uh, like, uh, it was 1.7 million. I took 1.7. And, uh, and you are still paying it? Even I, now I'm still paying. My salary is nothing. I'll show you my pay slip. Okay. It's nothing. Yeah. Let me ask her. Yes. You said the last time you went to work was 2016. 2016. Eh? What does the law say about, or what does your work say about a sick leave? Yeah. So, like, not that I'm not, I'm being paid my mm, salary no mm. more because <clears throat> not that I don't go totally. I normally appear to work. Mm. Like in a week, I can appear two times. Yes. But when I'm in too much, when I'm in sick that much, mm. would, we had a commissioner who told me to stay home mm. until I get well. Mm. But when he went, we now have another mm. boss. Mm. The boss is not bad. I've never met him. Mm. Even my our second boss. Yes. I, I want to say thank you so much mm. to Madam Florence Omodi. Th that madam has been there for me. She has been calling me, taking, sending people to me to see mm, me, mm. even when I was admitted the other day. I got admitted mm. two times. Yes, in you Aga told Khan. me. Yeah, the first yeah. one I took one month. Mm. The second one I took two, uh, was it one week? Mm. But the same time, the second one, we were admitted with the Sheila as well. Yes. Yes. So now you get to meet another man yeah. and you do a wedding. Yes. What do you love about your husband? Uh, what I love about him, when he came into my life, I was just Vivian, just Vivian. But he was there for me, being that I'm sick and everything, he was there for me. Because mm. when he came, I was sick. He found me sick, but not the way I am now. I was very sick. Remember, this is just a new guy you've just met, and the condition that he's finding you in, is not that, and I was not also financially mm, stable. stable. Because remember, I have loans I'm paying, mm. and I, I also have a, a court issue of the money which I did not take. Mm. Somebody ordered for cement, they ate and never paid. And now you have to pay. I have to pay that mm. loan. I'm, I've been paying slowly, slowly. Mm. Now I have a, I have a husband who is there. He, the, all of his salary is getting is what we are using mm. because what i'm getting is so small mm. i'm getting something very small mm. my medical condition even my cover cannot help me much i use a lot of the medicines for hormones mm. no they do, they are not being covered by, by the, the cover by the cover and it, your husband's cover my husband's cover no same same my husband cover i cannot we just got married last mm. last year mm. was and within this our marriage, there is something they called a publishing. They, you have to be published to be called a, mm. someone's a wife mm. or someone's husband. Mm. But when we tried that, mara mingi amekuwa kichaka, akwangi karibu, anakwanga kwa mstu. Yes, yes. So akwangi karibu. So when um, when we wanted to do the mm. publishing, mm. he sent me to go do to go for the checkup, mm. you have to go check, search for the certificate. Mm. If you have to publish now in KDF, at first it was just normal. But nowadays they kept it that you have to go for the search of the certificate, marriage certificate, if it's okay, mm. if it's real, I mean, mm. which 
you know Not i yet. couldn't travel to nairobi mm. so he had to go he just came yesterday mm. he was there in nairobi mm. trying to publish me mm-hmm. Because I'm not published. It's like I'm not his wife. Mm. We are like, come we stay. Come we stay. But he married me cows and we did wedding. Mm. Until that day, the KDF will publish me. Mm. That's when I can use his cover. His cover. For now, I cannot. Yes. And I have exhausted mine mm. as well. How do you feel mm. knowing someone else would really love you for you? I never knew I can be loved again. I never even believe in love anymore. But when he came, I knew some, you can get a second chance in life. Mm. And it was my ch- second chance in life. Mm-hmm. Because he came with all love. The, he came like everything that I've, I, I missed in mm. the marriage. Mm. You know, in the last marriage, we were like, all the time, we're not talking. You know, but this one is cheeky. We talk, we do what. You laugh. You know, I'm here in bed, I don't walk. But when he comes here, we laugh. I will do things. Mm. Before you came, I was like, oh, when is Lenny coming? Imagine Lenny is going to come. We laugh. We were just talking. Mm. We talk mm. and we laugh. Mm-hmm. Is somebody who understands you. Yes. Is someone who doesn't act very fast when something is wrong. You can say you found your friend. I found my friend. Good. Because um, to me, at times, I become high. He knows how to calm me down. He's, he will tell me mm. uh, how to until I calm down. Mm. He knows when I'm hungry. He knows when I'm in so much pain. He knows when I'm supposed to be taken to yes. the hospital yes. and back at yes. home. Okay. I found my true friend. Yes. yes. I want to go through a couple of these documents. Yes. And I'm happy you have all these documents. Yes. But there is a very there is a question a lot of people are asking okay. on social media. Yes. You live in such an incredible house. house. Yes. And Sheila has told me that she has bought a lot of things using her art yes. in this house. Yes. And she's told me it's also rented. Is yes. that true? Yes. So can I ask how much you rent it for? So this house is 50000 Yes. We got into this house when uh, I met my husband. Yes. He told me he wanted me to move out of the house where I was and come to this house. Mm. By then, he was in uh, Kichaka. Kichaka pesa yake iku juusi kama mtu mwenye eh. ako uku. Yes. So the life was just good. Yes. We could afford to pay oh. the house. Uh, I, I, I want to tell you, I have a message. I, wa- I wish my phone was here. Mm-hmm. The landlord told me not to pay because of my sickness. Oh, for I, how long? He told me, he sent a message to, mm. my, to our phone mm. that his donation to us is not to pay rent for two months. Oh. So we will not pay rent for two months. Yes. He said that's the donation yes. he can offer us. Yes, I saw online people yeah. saying, why is it that you are living in such a big house mm. and you are asking people to donate money for mm. your condition? Mm. What would you like to say about that? What I would love to say that uh, sickness doesn't come once. And uh, living somewhere, you, you just wake up today and go live somewhere. I, sickness found me in this house. That's why it's it's not easy to move out mm, now mm. in this condition. Mm. I am asking for help so that I can go treat myself and come back, and to, come your back house. to my house. Yes, I, I was not here. I was not okay. What can I say? Mm. I was not. I did not call sickness to come. Sickness came. It just came and it found me when we were here. And mm. my, my husband, they just came back to Nyali Barracks the other day. Just he, to he, clarify, ukisema sickness yeah. ilikupata ukiwa kwa nyumba, yeah. but you had pre-existing condition. Yes. Umekuwa na condition. Yes. But is this the toughest it has been for you? Would you say this ndiyo mbaya sasa kabisa venye uko? I would say so because mm. you see I don't hear well. Yes. You are here. You know that even when you call me, you can know that. Yes. I don't hear well. I have to read your mouth when you are talking. Mm. Not that my ears are gone, like gone. Yeah. I can hear, but I can hear you. Mm. Kwa umbali. Mm. This is the worst sickness I've ever had. You see my my knee. Mm. You have the thing there. Yes. I have a fracture mm-hmm. and the tendon also mm. as uh, imekatika. Mm. So remember, I'm walking on a scratch. You make a take at this side. No, what happened to your knee? I just slide. Mm. I just slide from the bathroom. Mm. And that's how my everything came. Okay. 
Yes. Mm. So I have a need that need to be replaced mm. and uh, at the same time the stomach has, has striked mm. this time around than how it has been. Okay. When I was in Aga Khan Hospital, you can come confirm with Aga Khan. Yes. All the doctors that I had there, they were all saying I should do operation. Mm. Lynn, I'm afraid of doing operation in Kenya. Whenever I do operation, yes. something else occurs. How many operations have you done in total? Seven. Seven. I'm going to do the eighth mm. operation. Mm. And I believe it might be the last operation Amen. I'm going to Amen. do. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's called gas. gas uh, I I'll don't find know. it. You will see it yes, there. Yes. We will we'll walk through easy pole pole. Yeah. But uh, for the people <coughs> that are watching mm. and they are asking, in a layman's language, mm. ni ni describe a condition yako ni nini mbaya kwa sasa hivi venye kitu naweza sema ni mbaya na poteza nerves nafsi zangu are very you see na bebwa mm. i'm weak mm. yani siezi hata ninyo siezi hata mm. kanyage mm. inatembea mm. I, i don't eat can you bring that container yes I only do soft diet. Mm. It is there. My diet is also there. Mm -hmm. This, this is, is the um, food I take. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. This is uh, Ensure Vanilla Nutritional Supplement. Yeah, that is oh. the food mm -hmm. I take. Okay. Mm. I don't go to the toilet. Like, I, I, I just go to the toilet. Yes. Okay. Yeah, despite, well, despite you seeing me strong the way I am, most of the time I'm in pain and crying. Mm. I normally lock myself here and whenever I lock the door, Sheila will knock, they know there is something wrong. Yes. They should rush up and see you, ma'am. Uh -huh. But they can do nothing even if they come to me. Yes. How is the digested food? How does it come out of your stomach? Kama wendi ajakubwa? Ajakubwa yangu kuenda kuna kitu, I don't know how it's called, but mm. kuna kitu na dungu agaka na ma premia. Mm. Inaekwa kwa on my rectum. Yes. Then uh, for some time, it's some fluid, it's being pushed yeah. there. In a, mm -hmm. I don't know the, how mm. it's called. Mm. After they have pushed it, it takes sometimes, then I start diarrhea. Mm. Mm. I will diarrhea, diarrhea for sometimes until it mm. Or there is another medical. I think it's there. Mm. It's so sweet. Mm. They also give me that I mix in water, but that yeah. one nowadays doesn't work. <coughs> yes. So I go. They put the the, the tube. Yeah, okay. there's a tube. They mm. put. Mm. They push it in. Mm. Then after mm. sometimes, immediately, like two to three minutes, mm. I start going. Yes. Through. Sheila does not go to school yes. anymore. Mm. What happened? When Sheila went to the state house, mm. she was asked, "What do yeah. you want me to do to you, the president?" Sheila said, the only thing I would want is you teach. Mm. You teach me and my brother. Mm. After present and noticing that I lost my uterus, mm. he said that he will take Sheila and the brother and he will take them like their children. Mm. So he said, I will teach Sheila until Sheila is, uh, doesn't want school anymore. Yes. And I will teach Bresnan until mm. high school. That's mm. why... He even said there that he, he, he gave my ex-husband work at, at the port. Mm. But it's so unfortunate. We followed it up once we left the state house until we did not get it. Mm. We, he also said that after one week, Sheila was to go back mm. because Sheila had designed a shirt for him. Mm. After one week, we tried calling so that we can go back. We were locked mm. from reaching the president mm. anymore. Mm. So from last year... The fee for Sheila is being paid by the president, mm. the former president of Urumagai Kenyatta. Yeah. The person who I was in charge of, uh, the contact the person. The contact person. I can mention the name. Yes. Was Winnie, mm. the secretary of the former president. Mm -hmm. I could call her direct. Mm -hmm. We still talk. I have her voices yes. that he promised the other day. I will also be playing for you. Yeah. I, I recorded mm. them. Mm. So when we talked, she told me, I, I asked last year, she used to call me. Mm. So when I, they are paying, they mm. only pay tuition fee. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sheila is in an international school where some kids are coming, driving their own cars. Mm. Sheila, they carry food. They are not being paid for food. Mm. Food only, lunch, is, is uh, 35,000. You can check light international. 
There are two people, that is 70. Mm. Transport for Sheila and Bresnan is 28,000 mm. for one. Mm. 28 times two. 56. 56 plus uh, 70. Oh my God. I have come to activities. We yes. have activities. We have trips and sports. Mm. Mm. We also have something they call subscription. Mm. So this money piled until they were sent out of school. Mm. So when they, were, they, when they were sent out of school, I also went this term mm. to talk to the teach to mm. the uh, accountant the, mm -hmm. and the teachers mm. if they can allow sh them back they said you know we have arrears there mm. i called the madam and i told madam win how are we going to do it this time she told me at first she was not picking then i uh, there was a day she just called me herself and told me you know what uh, i don't think this it's going to be possible but let's try we did a calculation with her and she told we she told me that president is saying for you uh, for Sheila and Bresnan to finish the school that will be they were now talking of to finish year twelve mm. not university mm. it's going to be ten million and something but let's just wait we will see we are still waiting up to now when was the last time Sheila was in school last year last year mm. when exactly. It was the last year when they were closing the school. Mm -hmm. okay. Then the, the now the the beginning term. Yes. Last last year, yeah, when they were closing the beginning term this year. And the brother. And the all of them. Even the brother is not in school. All of them. So the they are homeschooling. Wana jifundisha wenye. Yeah, na wita mtu na lipa who is. Uh, mm. taking care of their schools mm -hmm. and paying somebody mm. 20,000 mm -hmm. because somebody like Sheila did not do uh, 844 uh, K KCPE yes so Sheila oh, cannot KCP. be accepted in any school mm. here so I said and because I'm sick let them stay home for now like with the Sheila we are looking for scholarships abroad mm. if she can get we've applied yes. for a lot okay if she can get abroad she mm. goes because of her talent mm. but for the brother I'm saying now I will remain with one it will be easy but for now because I'm sick I told them just to persevere they get uh, being teach they, they got taught at home then when I go to I came back from India mm. I will take the younger one to school mm. but Sheila will continue on schooling because no school will accept uh, a, a child who did not do uh, KCP. KCPE. Mm. Yeah. Wow, that's, that ma ma must be hard. It is hard. It is very hard. Mm. Yeah, and it, it's torturing her. And even my condition is really torturing Sheila. Yes. Being that I'm sick, Sheila keeps on crying. Even the person who wrote for you, I don't know if she told you. Yes, the email. Yeah. The email? Yeah. She's the one who yes, wrote she's it. she's the one who wrote for you email, not me. I was not still free of sharing. She told me, Mom, you can't die in silence. This time around, the world has to know. People think we are rich. Sheila just dress Mtumba like the way she's dressed now. She's very smart, right? Yes. That's just 50 and 20, 70 more. Sheila, why? We don't wear design clothes. If you see like the only clothes we have for design, those are designers are calling her. Then she, they are giving. They her. give her. Yeah. Let me ask you, Vivian. Yes. Do you think Sheila has had time to be a child, given all the things that both of you have gone through? Sheila has just jumped from a teenager to a young lady, taking care of the mother. Sheila has gone through a lot with me. I was ready to give them for adoption. Because no one knows what I'm going to do in this house. Mm. I am sick. I can't do anything. Yeah. There are people who have said mm. you are using your daughter mm. to to con Kenyans. Mm. Mm. What do you have to say? Lena, you are here. Yes. Am I sick or I'm not sick? You are sick. So they don't know I'm sick. You are the one who is here who has known I'm sick. They are saying I'm conning wa Kenya because I'm not sick. According to them, I'm not sick. But according to you, who is here? Mm. Am I sick or I'm not sick? Let's go to the document. And mm. some people have said maybe you have also faked the document. You can call the documents. I think has numbers. Yes, it has numbers. You can Just call. walk me through some of this document. This is a request for granting medical visa mm. and attendant visa. Mm. Mm. 
this is from assistant J i don't know if you can bring my phone yes please you copy ask my phone is down tell tell them to give you my phone so i want to give thanks to kenyans who have stood with me yeah i also <coughs> want to give thanks to kenyans who have not stood with me who thinks i'm lying i want to tell you that once you are here where i am is when you will know what i am going through mm. but if you just see me like that you will not know i also want to clarify to you that i'm not using my daughter in anything for the first time i did not want my story to be heard i did not want people to know i am sick but my my daughter decided to do it mm. she kept it without even me knowing mm. my first picture if somebody is keen that was posted on social media i was being resuscitated i was uh, half naked i, I mm. don't know mm. I, i had attack so i was not aware of anything which happened but my daughter decided that mom you know what we have now to do something so mm. you get you get yes, well yes. i will not keep quiet again mm -hmm. people believe that we have money yeah. because they most of the time they see us take picture mm. we post on mm. the ground things are different mm. i only want to tell them that i still need your support yes. and i am not <coughs> that con lady you think i am mm. i have all the documents Why should I call people now? Mm. I have all the documents. Mm -hmm. My insurance, I don't want to say they are trying. Mm. Right now the headquarters, prison headquarters has taken my case. They are trying if the insurance can accept to take me to India. Mm. They are also working on it. So it's not just somebody is asking why not your insurance. Yes, my insurance are trying. Why not your husband? I've I'm, I'm, I've not been published. So it cannot work. We have to do search for the marriage, marriage certificate and mm. it takes long. Mm. That's why she he has not published me. Mm. But if, for for the contributions you've done, I want to tell you that it's going to to be used in a good way. How much do we need? We How need, much is the total for the, the total is 2.4 now. <coughs> no, no, the whole amount. The whole amount was 6 million. Yes. Here we've raised 1.5. Mm -hmm. The one we as a family. Mm. So the amount that is remaining is a uh, amount we've raised f from so the 4.5 mm. is 2.4. Mm -hmm. No, we need to clarify. Mm. Family ya mumeriz ngapi? Family is just my mom 1.5. Hiyo ni yenu. Bila wananchi. Bila watu si. Na na wananchi. Wananchi wameres 2.4. So 1.5 plus 2.4 is 3.9. So right now you need to need 2.1 2.1 around mm. i want you to walk me through this document mm. uh this is the aga khan hospital mombasa mm. there are some people who are also saying uko na mtu wako ndani kwa hospitali jesus christ mwana wa nasa mm -hmm. yeah here is the inia billing check hiyo ni ya billing if check if i have somebody eh. how can <coughs> i be billed in the hospital yes This is 699 for 70. Check when. Yes. This is for 20 nini? 2023. Tarik 01 so February 1st of February 2023. Yeah? That's the day I was admitted. Yes, bill yeah. ni 699. Sindi yo? How do how do we have a bill if usijali haya? In ya nini? In here, if the fracture, you mm -hmm. can read here. Yes. This one is Aga Khan. Mm. The X-ray is here. Yes. That is the knee. Yeah, the knee. So the knee in a far if a new replacement. Huh? The knee in a far if a new uh, surgery. Mm -hmm. Surgery, isn't it? Mm. I okay. was hesitant to do that because yeah. I did not want to mm. to replace. I thought this <coughs> thing I'm wearing could uh, could help you. Could help me. Aya, in here, nini, Mama Sheila? This one. Mm. This one is for the conclusion mm. the colon fetal loading is supposed to be constipation. Okay. That shows that I don't go. You don't go to the washroom. To the washroom. Higher. This It, is the radiology for the 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 knee. No, for the This one for the heart. For They the heart did my heart. Uh -huh. yes. Heart ecology. Heart is okay. The amen. Yeah. This is billing for Agaka. Mm -hmm. Sorry, not for like a for premium, mm. but this was uh, which yeah. 
date. Yes. 2020. Yeah. This one shows you have been in and out of the hospital. Okay. In ya nani? E mm. ni a Beyond Scope Hospital. Mm -hmm. So be, I normally go to Beyond Scope mm. Hospital. Mm. Even Sheila the other day, the last time she was admitted, yes. she was there. Okay. So this one showing mm. the referral of me yes. to India. To India. I yes. think this is one that is very important. This, this is visa processing Yes. for you. For Which chief inspector, it has our, been approved by your super so with my uh, superintendent in charge, yeah. Pasquale Eringo. In Asema, the officer is required to travel to India to mm. seek medical attention. We Cindy, can call to clarify. Do not. Uh, it's okay. okay. I will do that. Yes. Haya. Nataka unionyeshe ya India. Ya India ni gani yenye inasema yeah, yeah. uende India? Yeah, Beyond Scope Hospital. Yes. Uko ndi unaenda India. Yes. And guys, these things are showing in your screen. You mm. can check them. You underwent. Uh, currently patient is complaining. Nini kindly accord her all the necessary assistance. Uende wapi? Uende India. Mm. Kuna ingine hapo. This one also in your India. Supporting. India. The above named. Supporting that I don't have uterus. How na uterus? The yeah. above named patient underwent uh, his eogena, my people, yeah, in 2017 due to polymenorrhea with menogai. Patient due to process surgery has developed multiple adhesions with constipation and currently she is on semi-solid diet. Mm. So, inigani ya kutoa uterus katia hizi mbili? Hysterectomy is a uterus, uterus yeah, removal. Yeah, hysterectomy. Okay. Remove. Yeah, okay. Aya, sasa, ni gani ingine nilikuwa nataka? Discharge. Yeah, yeah discharge. Hii na mani, hii ni discharge sheet. Yeah, yeah, I can check the date. Ah. When, you can read, give them to read. Nitawaekea nita kwa screen. Mm. Sini sawa? Mm. Okay. Haya, let me see the x-ray. Hii ni ya nini? Hii ni ya tumbo showing for my, mm. the, for... For me to go to mm. India, mm. they had to confirm for sure I don't have uterus. So read, the, read the findings. So let me find the findings. Yeah. See conclusion. Mm. Features of fecal impaction, mm. stroke, constipation. Bado chosi yendi yu ina manisha. Mm. And then let's go somewhere. Hey, kizungu jo. Ah. Urinally, uh, bladder was normal, kidney appears normal, left kidney appears normal, fecal loading noted. Mm. So you in a manisha? Read it is. Uh, e, features of fecal impaction and constipation. Mm, Maybe they will ask Kwanini Hawakueka stamp here hospital. Ndiyo hile ni mepewa ingine, hii ni beyond scope, uh -huh. so yenye wameeka stamp, uh -huh. wameeka pale. Hii ya beyond scope, uh -huh. bado? Okay. Bado ni beyond scope. Alright, mm. so let so me... This is the diet I'm in. Mm -hmm. This is the diet, mm. soft diet meal planner. Yeah, this is the hospital I'm going to. This is, oh, this is the one I needed. Mm -hmm. So... I hospital ya India mm. yenye unaenda mm. inaitwa Nanavati Max yeah. super speciality mm. hospital hiyo mm. ndio hospital yenye unaenda mm. okay na let me clarify mm. i'm going to this hostel if because the my workplace are trying yes to if, get you yeah, to get me so if they got me to if they got to the the insurance car, to cover, to cover they might take me also for another so not this not same this one, one. So okay let no one not question that okay so is in your details is a yes. hospital yes. na pia watu wanaweza piga yes. wa confirm kama umefanya booking yes. mama Sheila i want to wind up i'll mm. play for you guys a couple of them on your screen so that then you can... these are my x-rays yes. that i have gone through mm -hmm. you can just yeah pass them the X-ray. The main problem is intestines. It's the intestines, sir. Yeah, so oh, okay. Premier hospital. It's okay. I will run this through the screen. This is the colon. Yes. The the fecal. Fecal. Give me this one. Mm. You are fecal. In fecal mm. showing that I don't use the washroom. You don't. Yeah, yes. yes. So, so, it's, so, okay. So. it's okay. It's okay. It's <clears> okay. <throat> we wrote them. 
I'm not going to show this hospital. This is where they interfered with you. Yes, I was going to ask that hospital that interfered with you. Have you sued them? Have you? I don't even want to sue them. Why? I want life. I only want God to give me life. Oh. This is the hospital. I've seen it. Man of God, what you've drawn, this is our home place back at the village. The way you've drawn it, if you come down, there is a slope, then there is a river on the side. Man of God, this is our home village. Man of God, this land you've drawn, this is the land of my grandfather. My grandfather... So this is where they performed a lot of witchcraft. It's true, man of God. Till it? now, witchcraft is still there. It's true, man of they God. They still drum. Do, 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 do. It's true, man of God. You used to take them uh, soap. You used to take them... Man of God, what you are saying is true. So, Kakande Ministry, I heard that the prophet is healing people. I also want to be healed and bear a child with my husband. Mm. We are very young. So I thought maybe if I go there, I will get help and uh, the help that I need. Mm -hmm. That's why I went to there. Mm -hmm. But when I went there, give yeah. her this one. So yes, yeah, she will take there. it. Okay. Oh, ah, ah, that one. Mm -hmm. When I went there, I did not jump. The way somebody is saying, I can't even jump. Mm -hmm. Me as Vivian, I can't jump. You can see the video, it's there. Mm -hmm. When he, he said he, he drew something, and it was our home. I was uh, like, yes, yes, man of God, that's true. Mm. I was excited. Mm. The same way, ungenipata ni meketi. Ama ungenipata, I can walk. Ninge quite excited mm. kukuona. Mm. It was just like that. Sheila, we were called back to go to the prophet when people trolled us. That, oh, Sheila was there to, they removed the devil. I don't know what for them. The cast, it was a troll. For so after that, they saw the Uganda people saw it. Yes. Then they called us. When they called us, they say we carry some art with us. We went with some art. That guy gave Sheila twenty million Ugandan money. People are saying Kenyan money. I wish it was Kenyan money. They said that Sheila was given twenty million Uganda Kenyan money. It was that twenty million mm. Ugandan money. That was six hundred thousand. 600,000 Kenya shillings. shillings. This 600 Kenya shillings, I took this money, some part of it went to my medical. Lena, in, my, in me, the way you are seeing me, every week I'm using the, the medicine for hormones. I did not want to tell people here mm. because I don't have feelings for even, for, I mean, you understand, for, for a man. I, I don't have that feeling. Yeah. I use hormones the medicine for hormones mm -hmm. and i use them every week i'm using nine thousand there is a, a medicine called fidelix i don't know mm -hmm. fidelix mm -hmm. it's being kept down here under my under my i don't have mm -hmm. the appendix but mm -hmm. it's being kept here it's mm -hmm. a stick too i think one is here mm -hmm. we will look for it and yes. show you yes so that one is eighteen thousand kenyan money and i am using it every month it's called, I don't know, FedEx, I don't know what. Mm. The medicine is mm. here. We will show you mm. and you show it to mm. people. Mm. I count those ones. Yes, money I was given. I also have this family to run. I also had, by this time, remember, I had the cases also, which is running. Mm. I also had to pay. I had to, to also pay my hospital. I don't use a card my hospital insurance all the time because there are some hospitals that, that i can't go like mm. now our card cannot go to premium mm. unless you are referred mm. so when i go like my condition i normally just go to the hospital where i know if i get referred i can get help not this small small mm, yes. hospitals okay so that's yes. why for the people who have trolled you and your daughter mm. For the people who have accused you mm. of conning Kenyans, mm. for the people who are saying you are using your daughter to mm. extort money from the public, mm. what would you want them to know? I don't blame you for saying that. What I want you to know, I am sorry 
for everything that you say. In fact, I'm asking God to forgive you for what you said. I know that you did not know, but now you know. I did not use my daughter to to get money. In fact, she's the one who started this this one that she want to help me. Before this, divine she Diviner. Divina Joseph mm. was contacted when I saw that thing. Then Diviner said, come open. Don't die in silence. You are going to die. Be open and say, I will really give great thanks to Diviner Joseph. Mm. When we also talk with Lydia Olet from UK, okay. Lydia said, be open. Yes. Speak out now. You are going to die. And now... Sheila is using her account because she has followers. Me as Vivian, I only have 6,000 followers. The other people in our family here at our Julikani, that's why Sheila took this thing, this initiative. Kwa account zake. Kwa account zake. Oh, tulikuwa US. Yeah. US. Of using that money. Mm. US, I uh, went 2018. Mm. The rest, it was Sheila who went in 20... Uliko mepeleka Sheila? 2018, yeah. I took Sheila. We wow. were sponsored, yes. so I went. Mm. Then uh, uh, Sheila went 2020 to mm. receive a Nina Simone Artistic yes. Honorary Award. Yes. The award is here. You mm. can open and see yes. it. So she went alone because I did not have money to go with her. She went as a minor and she was received to the other side. Mm. And that's how it went. Yes. The other day, I posted I'm going to U.S. Ukependo Ukofe. I was just making fun the way people can make fun. Kenyans, I'm so sorry. The pictures you see me posting in the aeroplane, it's just skyward, which I don't pay. I use it for free. Mm. I will ask you to forgive me. If there's anyone whom I've wronged mm. in any way yes. or the other, this is the time I'm requesting you before going for the operation because we don't know what might come where we are going. It's God who gives us life. And it's him who takes the life. I will say, I am sorry. Wa Kenya pesa yenu inaenda kutumika vizuri. Your money is in a, in a safe hand. And it's going to save me. It's going to treat me. Lena is here. Lena is here can confirm. I'm not that person you think that I'm just there. I'm sick. Lena, you can tell them I'm being carried. I'm being kept. My mother is here. My brothers, my two brothers are here. They are here just to help me. And you will be okay. And I believe I will be okay. You, will, you said you just want life. I just want life. May you experience. I want to be normal like yes. any other person again. Yes. And may yes. you experience life. Yes. And experience in a, it in a bar. In a bar. In a bar. Thank sawa. you so much. I had already put the details mm. of how people can, you know, donate. Mm. They are already on the screen, but I like it when they come from your mouth mm. for clarification. Mm. For people who would want to channel their support, where are they donating? And also, is there an Mpesa number also yes. where people can send funds? Yeah, for those people who would love to support me, because I still want you guys to support me. Mm. My Facebook family, my friends, and the family abroad. Mm -hmm. Please, if you want to channel your contribution to support me, you can send your PESA into pay bill number 822-8252. And for those people who are abroad and uh, diaspora, you can use PayPal. Uh, PayPal. My PayPal account is otienosviv at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. O-T-I-E-N-O. At Gmail. O T I O T I E N O S V I V at Gmail.com. V I V at Gmail.com. Yes. Or you can use cash uh, uh, cash app. Mm. My cash tag is capital V Vivian capital M Medical Vivian Medical. Yes. If you would want to use my M Pesa, my M Pesa number is plus two five four. Seven four one one zero six two two. Name Otieno Vivian Adiambo. Okay. Town Mombasa. Aww. And if you also want to support me because we will be channeling all everything for you guys to see and know. If you want to support our YouTube, we have a YouTube channel which we just uh, mm. started, mm. and we have two videos there already. 
It's called the Naviv family. The Naviv, Naviv is Vivian, Ben, and Nathan. <laughs> so the Naviv family. Yes. Thank you so much, and thank you so much, Wakenya, yes. for contribution yenu, and for the news that came that broke and misled everybody. I am pleading that you forgive me if there is anyone, maybe I replied bad, or I talked to bad. It was not me who is managing. I will say me because it's me who is being talked to. And I will also ask you to be human because I'm also a human being. I will request you that Sheila is just a 14-year-old girl who is fighting for her mother. Please, just assume she is your daughter. If you alter such words to her, to your daughter, how would your daughter feel? I'm so sorry, Kwanya Baya Sheila, if she had talked to someone bad. She had pressure. If, at this time, Sheila is using the medicine of H. pylori mm. because of all these things. Mm. She is just fighting for me. Please, I ask you to forgive us. Okay. Please forgive us. Before I wind up, mm. please look at that camera mm. and talk to Sheila. The only thing I can tell my daughter. The fight and the troll you've gotten just because of me. Sheila, I love you so much. I will love you even that day I will go to grave. I will still love you. I told you that even when I go to India and I don't come back, you are still my daughter and I promise you that you will go to the US, you will get your scholarship that you are looking for. I'm praying for you, my daughter. May God bless you, whatever you've done for me. The trolls and everything you've gotten just because of me. Sheila, may God bless you. Sheila, if I anything happened bad, I will love that whoever is watching this video, her wish is to be in the United States and to study there so she can help this family. If anything bad happened in the operation, I don't wish for. Please take Sheila, whoever can take her, and make sure she her wish be done. Sheila, you've helped me a lot. You've saved me a lot. You've given me life when my life was not there in 2018. What can I offer you, my daughter? You gave me your phone. When I lost my phone, you have nothing. You are just there as, as, as just somebody. I have nothing to say or to tell anybody. You are the one, you are my secret person. You are the person I share with everything. Sheila, you are more than my mother. You are more than a daughter to me. I will tell you, my daughter, continue having the heart that you have, even if not for me. Save other lives also the way you are trying to save me. I want to say, Sheila, I love you. I love you, Sheila. I even you, you know, you tell me, Mom, fight. And for this day, I will tell you, I want to fight for you. I will fight for you, Sheila. I will fight for you. Sheila, I'm going to fight for you when in that operation. I'm really going to fight for you, my daughter. Only that I can tell you. And for the Kenyans who trolled you, our Kenyans are asking you to blame me. Please take all blame back to me. Kenya, Sheila, we drew all the blames from you and I've kept them on me. Don't worry, my daughter. Our door is going to be open and you are going to be greater. One day this will be a testimony. May God bless you and may God heal you. And right now you are sick just because of me. You are taking medicines of H. pylori. You need counseling. The other day night you told me, Mom, I need somebody to counsel me. I felt so bad. I felt so bad. Whenever I am crying, you are crying with me. Whenever I am sitting down, you lie next to me. Whenever I can't breathe, you are the one who tells me, Mom, breathe in and out. Sheila, I wish you all the best even if I don't come back from the operation. Thank it's you. Okay. It's okay. Thank you. <laughs> Let it out. <laughs> Let it out. <laughs> Let it out. Okay. You are going to come back. Okay. Keep the faith. 
All right? Yeah. You keep the faith. I keep the faith. You are wonderful, Mom Vivian. Mm. And I know it's not easy mm. to see your girl going through what she's going through. She's not even going to school just for me. It's okay. She's it's sacrificing okay. everything. She has bought everything in this house, Lena. You see the seats I'm sitting on, the TV. Whenever she sells any of her art, I don't know if she told you that, she will take the, what she has to do for me, whatever she can do. Look at the bed I'm lying on. This is Sheila's art. It's so painful that people might think I'm using her. She's the one using herself to save her mother. Guys, my condition is not what you think. I can't eat. I can't go to the toilet because I, I'm not eating. I'm only using semi-solid. I'm afraid of them also because whenever I use them, I have to go to the store. They fix something in my rectum is when I go to, 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 the to the toilet. I'm really praying for my daughter, Lena. Even if God takes me, I'm saying this, please. Find ways of helping Sheila. Never let my family, never let Sheila to suffer. She has suffered a lot. Sheila has not gone through a childhood. She was feeding me by that time. Sheila has now jumped from a teenager to a, a young lady. May God help Sheila. And if there is someone who can give Sheila scholarship to study abroad the way she's wishing, please, I ask you to do so. Yes. Thank it you. It will be done, okay? You keep the faith. Keep the faith. Sawa. Sawa. <laughs> Let my daughter suffer. Okay. Right. Be there for Sheila. I if anything you. wrong happens, okay. thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right. Mm. Yeah. Thanks. I have to. I have to wind up. I have to wind up. And um, I always say before we can make conclusions, before we can judge, let's. Let's always listen. It's not like I did not know what people are saying online about mm. this family. It's not like my team did not get the news when they broke. We saw them. We went through the comments. But I had made a promise to this family that I would come. And I said, no matter what the story is, we are going to listen to it. We are going to internalize it with the team. And we are going to seek clarification because something just told me I have to come here. No matter what the story is, God will lead me towards finding the truth. If she was lying, I would still have known. But it's very important for us to learn to listen to all sides of the story. But before I go, before I go, you know how we do it, guys. Can we see this family through? All the details have been here. You got to listen to Sheila. You've listened to the mother. Sheila has beautiful art. It's very sad to see it. Just, you know, dust, kila kitu, inakujia your art. If you're able to even purchase art from her, let's keep her dream alive, guys. If you, if you are watching this and you are able to even offer Sheila that scholarship, please do. Please do it. Let her go and live her dream. There should be no reason why this young girl cannot continue existing in her own art. So I hope all the questions you had have been answered. I, you've also seen shots of her mom, the leg, the tummy, kila kitu. So I ask you to extend a bit of kindness and a bit of grace. 
we never know where someone has been. We never know what their journey has been. And as it's always said, three sides of the story, they are, you know, your truth, my truth, and the truth. So she's supposed to go to India very soon. The tentative dates we are looking at are either Thursday or Friday. So whatever help you are able to offer this family, how about you do exactly that? And I know we have a different government in place right now, but that does not stop Sheila from being a Kenyan citizen. If something was promised to her by the former government, I believe the present government right now is able to keep that promise alive. Her work does not stop now. So even if the government is able to hold her, hold her hand and take her through school, can, can, can someone pass this message to Winnie, to anyone that is watching and they are able to help make sure that her dream does not go to waste? I think I did not make a mistake coming here. I always say I am responsible for my own action. I saw some people had said, oh, Lynn, if she goes and does that story, her credibility. Guys, I keep telling you something. You got to learn how to walk in your purpose. You can't just let naysayers stop you from doing what you know you are meant to do. I walk in my purpose. Divine intervention. And I always say, yes, I know one day I will mess up. And if that day comes, I will still stand and walk again. Because I know it will help. It will happen. But I keep saying that should never stop you from living your dream just because people think they know what you need to be doing. You are the holder of a vision. So just keep trusting your energy. I can't insist how important it is to trust your gut feeling. So keep trusting. I had my questions when I came in. I needed my answers and I've gotten my answers. But above all, I see a mother. You are only 30, Vivian, mm -hmm. and you've gone through so much. Mm -hmm. I see a 30 year old woman, a 14 year old daughter who deserve a chance in this life. So let's do it. And thank you. I've forgotten something. Yes. <coughs> the president of Uganda. Mm, no, Sheila talked no, about it. Talked it's about okay. It. Yeah. People just uh, promise things and they don't do the. Let it go. It's okay. PR. Let it go. Mm. So, guys, I, I have to go. And also to the people in Uganda who are watching, mm. maybe the office of the president in Uganda who did promise this girl a house. I think it's only fair if you promise something, deliver it. Let's not. And we can't judge harshly because we don't know whether he thinks he has done it and maybe the help never got to Sheila. Mm. So let's do that. And thank you to the people of Mombasa. We've ha covered incredible stories here. And I want to say thank you to two people. Maridadi Motors for always driving us around. Every time we need a car to go anywhere to cover stories, Maridadi Motors always come through any means of transport, whichever car we want. We tell them we want a Vanguard, we want a Range, we want a Land Cruiser, whichever car they can provide for us to go to Mombasa, anywhere that we need to go in this country, they always come through. So thank you so much, Team Maridadi Motors. And of course, I want to say thank you to Rose of Rosie Beach Villas. We've stayed there. It's been free it's been our home for the last couple of months the last couple of days so thank you i just felt that i needed to acknowledge them because this job is not as easy as you finance your transport accommodation blah 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 it's not easy so thank you guys but above all let's not judge too harshly we are all bound to make a mistake somewhere along the way let's not judge too harshly <laughs> All the best to Kienda India, Isha Fanyika. I walk you. by hope. Thank you. Nanajo Usha Enda I, India. Tuonge ukiwa I, India. Nisawa. All right. Thank you to my amazing team who get to do this job with pure dedication. Joshua, Muga, Lynette. It's been a wonderful time being in coast region with you guys. And thank you for all the work you've put in. Not forgetting our other team. Sam, Kevin on the editorial department, the editors, and of course, 
everyone that takes care of our company when we are away. We appreciate you. God bless. Have a good day. Thank you.